If you live in the mid-Atlantic or northeastern part of the United States and are growing garlic, you need to be aware of a pest that's emerged on the scene over the course of the last few years that can have a devastating impact on your crop. That pest is called Allium leaf miner. You'll hear us refer to it as ALM for short. This pest, if not excluded from your crop, can result in a complete crop loss, but at a minimum, reduced bulb size and vigor in your crop. We elect to use a product called ProTechNet, which is an insect netting, to exclude the pest from our crop. Some still photos at the beginning of this video, followed up by a crop walk in our fields in Pennsylvania on April 4th. Fortunately, Allium leaf miner has not yet surfaced in Vermont, but we do need to take precautions in Pennsylvania. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hope you enjoy the video. Not sure if Allium leaf miner is present in your area? If you see this type of feeding damage on any of your Allium crops, you need to take precautions to protect not only your spring crop, but also any fall Allium crops like onions and leeks as well. Hey everybody, it's April 4th here in southeastern Pennsylvania, in Lehigh Valley. It's been a beautiful day so far today. We covered all of our garlic a couple of days ago, to protect against a pest called Allium leaf miner. Uh, Allium leaf miner is an insect, a flying insect, that feeds on all Allium crops and then eventually lays eggs into the leaf and the eggs hatch and in the larvae form, looks like a little maggot, uh, they pretty much decimate the crop. They'll eat the stem of the plant, and if the infestation is severe enough, it'll actually make the plant fall over at, at its base near the ground. Uh, we've had a lot of trouble with this pest in the past, so we now cover with insect netting called ProTech Net. Uh, you could certainly use a product like Arbogon Row Cover, although it has a tendency to want to fly a little bit more because it's more solid, and that also ex excludes some light, uh, whereas the insect netting only excludes about 4% of light. We use wire hoops uh, that we bought purposely for this that are about 40 inches tall, which will allow the crop to grow to full maturity uh, underneath there, full maturity being just before scape. Your, your plant height is pretty well determined at scaping. Um, this insect netting will stay on until the end of May. The life cycle for Allium leaf miner in the spring, what they call adult flight, is about 26 days. The problem is, is they don't all hatch on the same day. Uh, so you have to cover for quite a bit longer to make sure you get the entire flight. Normally we would cover two rows with this insect netting uh, because the netting is 14 foot wide. In this instance, we have so much netting uh, left and extra hoops um, that we've just uh, shrunk it down to, to one row. It just covers a little, that, that much better. Sandbags every second hoop to make sure that the insect netting stays in place. On very windy days it'll blow around a little bit. In two or three days we'll come out here and readjust the netting and tighten it up uh, once it gets settled in over the hoops. Backyard growers that elect to cover their crop with fabric can use EMT or PVC sourced at their local hardware store. Use 18 inch pieces of rebar driven on both sides of your bed to allow you to bend a PVC hoop over your crop and place your fabric on top. More information about where to source materials and information about Allium Leaf Miner can be found in the notes for this video.